good a- morning to you. Good afternoon. <laughs> yeah, it's Ooh. afternoon, right? It's like twelve thirty. Yeah, uh, it's three about three thirty here on the East Coast. I'm here in Massachusetts, and you're over on the the West Coast. I'm assuming Nevada, maybe. Oh man, if I was in Nevada, I'd be like dead in the water. I'm in uh, Southern California, Los Angeles. Okay, that's you know another great location. Uh, you know, saw you just recently bounced around quite a bit between Reno and Las Vegas. So I just assumed you were down in Nevada. Yeah, I'm headed. I'm headed to Reno uh, on the eighth of January, which I I don't know. I went to Vegas a couple of weeks ago, and, uh, um, and <clears throat> I was like, you know what? I had such a good time. I'm gonna try going to Reno, and then. Um, I would really like to go to Atlantic City and kind of hit all the gambling cities, kind of because, um, you know, why not mm-hmm. try it? Yeah, why not? Right? That's what we do. <laughs> well, hey, nice to meet you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too. Right <laughs> outside. I did just get up from a nap uh, as well. So I'm a little, uh, I just drank Red Bull. I'm on my second one. So I'll be fired up <laughs> in a couple minutes. <laughs> Oh, no worries. You see, we don't have to be firing at all cylinders today. It's the holiday season, so we can we can take things pretty easy and, uh, you know, we can edit whatever we need to. <laughs> so... You're like, wow, there's, there's lots um, of bad guys looking like a drab. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you want me to keep the poor quality of the video is what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looks so pixelated. What's happening? So uh, as I had shared into the Instagram conversation, um, you know, I, I am very intrigued in the popularity around all these different slot channels and the, the boom that we're experiencing uh, with, you know, casino and slot influencers and all these different channels between, you know, Instagram and TikTok and YouTube and all this kind of stuff. And um, so for starters, how long have you been a part of this? How long have you been recording and um, posting content? Yeah. So, Okay. Um, uh, I started about a year and four months ago. It was August of 2020. (laughs) I don't even know. It was in August. It was August 5th was my first upload to, uh, YouTube of, uh, yeah. So about a year and, uh, four months. Um, uh, I, I mean, look, I was, I was home because of an injury, uh, that I got and I was laying on the couch and, uh, I came across, uh, like the first video I ever saw was of, uh, Brian Christopher slots. And it was just on my, uh, like recommends YouTube, uh, feed. Mm -hmm. And it was a wheel of fortune. He like hit like 15 grand on the wheel of fortune. And I was like, Oh, I love wheel of fortune. What's this? And So I'm watching it and I'm watching this guy go nuts on like hitting this jackpot. And, um, I was thinking like, wow, I didn't even know you could record in the casinos. Like last time I went, like I tried to take a picture on the floor and some security guy like grabbed me by the shirt kind of thing. And like you just, so I was really kind of blown away by it. And like I, over the next couple of weeks, they started kind of shuffling through my, uh, my YouTube page, uh, you know, my, the, the recommends page, the FYP. And uh, so I started seeing like a few of these videos and I watched a lot of Brian Christopher slots and, um, uh, and then all of a sudden, like one night, like it was like two, three weeks later, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go. I just went, it was like three in the morning. I just hopped in my car, mm-hmm. went to the nearest casino which is Yamaba Casino, which is like still an hour and a half away pretty much. But um, uh, I went and <laughs> I got a hand pay on my first trip and it was on Wheel of Fortune. And oh, goodness. It, it, that was kind of, <laughs> I know, right? It was kind of like the the start of it. And I was, I, I was going like once a week on Saturdays and I just started kind of learning on my own. And like, you know, since I was home, uh, and not working, I kind of was playing around with editing and learning how to do all this stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's then like a couple weeks later, I started my Instagram and then, um, uh, TikTok and, um, yeah. So I've been doing it for about a year and four months and, uh, it's, it's been a rough go the past few months. Cause you know, something with our niche is you kind of got to win <laughs> and <Yeah. laughs> I haven't had too many wins lately. Yeah. No. <laughs> so it's really putting a damper. So I've been kind of taking breaks here yeah. and there. Yeah, no, I definitely, uh, you know, right after things reopened post 
post pandemic, I'll put in some air quotes. Uh, I feel like I was hitting like every other week and it was a, a nice little golden era <laughs> of the casinos giving a little bit to get you back in. Right. And uh, now I feel like I'm on the driest of spells. I haven't had a hand pay in weeks. And yeah. um, when I do go, I, I have exorbitant amounts of free play that just goes with no result. <laughs> and then I'll get a bonus on, you know, or as you call it a bony and then, <laughs> you know, out of nowhere, my money's gone. And I'm like, I have five minutes of content. What am I going to do? <laughs> well, how long, it's, how long have you been, how long have you been doing it? So I started uh, last March. So I, I'm not even at a year yet. Um, my, my biggest uh, growth has been over on TikTok. I think for a lot of us, that's kind of where we've seen the most action. Yeah. Instagram has been really slow. Uh, Facebook has been really slow. Um, YouTube has been like, okay, but I paid the least amount of attention to YouTube, honestly. Yeah. Um, because I'm not really at the point where I feel like I'm creating content worthy of monetization or, um, you know, anything like that. And, and similarly to you, it was, I think I was home with the flu or sick or something and it was NG slots. And then the next video was Brian Christopher. <laughs> and I was like, okay, like I already go to the casino. I love doing this. So I'll start recording when I go. Uh, but similarly, I feel like I was at Encore, maybe, uh, for my, my best friend's birthday. And a security guard, like, I, we were taking a picture. And he came over. He's like, no recording. I was like, okay, yeah. Okay. All right. I didn't know this is a very strict casino. But like, okay. Uh, and then later on, I got clarification that I can record my own machine, but I can't record publicly. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that was the biggest qualm. But I guess it also depends on the security guard you're talking to. Interesting. Anyway, yeah. Um, so, uh, so Brian Christopher, NG. Uh, what other like channels do you follow? What else do you like to watch when you're not creating content yourself? You know, I, uh, I, you know, when I first started, I was watching uh, the channels of kind of like. So I, I don't know mm -hmm. where this is going to play into uh, what we're talking about, but I've kind of broken it down into waves of uh like slot channels opening up like so the, like the first wave would be like brian christopher ng um all casino action uh big jackpot and um, mm -hmm. a couple others but i was watching oh, uh... kind of them <clears throat> excuse me i was watching like their videos and then i started watching um like the people that I'd meet in chat rooms, uh, like uh, Gamblers Unknown, um, hmm. uh, Spinning and Winning Slots with Blaine, I think his full name is. Um, just like some people that I've met. So sort of like my uh, my friends that I've met um, and spoken with online. And, and those are the kind of channels that I uh, started watching again. Because, you know, it's fun to support. And hmm. um, I, I did get highly like i overdosed on the slot machine videos and i like i was watching i'm not even kidding since i was home like and i wasn't working um i was watching like two hours every morning when i'd get up i'd start watching just two hours of videos and i really i, I really burnt myself out like hardcore and i was like commenting and you know liking and you know sharing and just i was too i, I just it was too much and so um, every now and again, I'll jump on and uh, watch the people that I, you know, talk with, um, mm -hmm. you know, like Real Twinning Slots or, you know, Gamblers Unknown again, um, uh, and a few others that I'll, mm -hmm. you know, throw down some, uh, you know, some watch time and, uh, you know, enjoy myself watching their stuff. <laughs> um, uh, but it's funny with a couple of them, I, they tell me before they uh, even post the video. So like, I know what, I know what they're going to hit. Um, <laughs> But yeah, you know, especially I'm more on like these days, I'm more on TikTok and Instagram kind of going through reels and uh, the vids mm -hmm. on there um, because it is just a short burst of uh, slot machine action. And uh, mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's, it's easier to watch on there and uh, I don't feel, um, you know, I don't have to like scrub through or anything. I can just watch the video and boom done mm -hmm. and uh, slot serotonin yeah right <laughs> get that quick fix <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
Um, so what are your, some of your thoughts on, uh, since you're talking about TikTok, um, there's a lot of TikTok lives that are happening. I think specifically at Park MGM, though, I don't think they actually named the resort. Um, they have these like lines that are open where people can send donations um and like request the game that's played and then they keep a certain portion of that money then send back if there's you know a winning run on that game um i'm seeing a lot of that happening and it's kind of unclear like how that's happening that feels like super illegal are you you talking about (laughs) are you talking about group polls no not group polls like uh so if you're hosting a live i can send you 120 dollars. you keep the first 20 and gamble my 100 and then if at the end of that gambling spree, it, I tell you when to stop and then I get 80% back. So if it's a hand pay oh of $1,200, cool. I'm getting 1000 and this person is keeping $200. It just feels like such a very complicated system. Yeah. Uh, I, and also like, like what is like, what is allowing that to happen? Like, how is that? I don't know. I don't know either. I've never actually, I, I mean, I might've heard of that. Like, Hey, I'll send you a hundred bucks. You play for me. Um, mm-hmm. I don't, I've had people during my lives ask if, Hey, can I send you money to play? And I always turn it down. So I've never really mm-hmm. gone down that Avenue. Um, yeah. just kind of a little bit with the group polls that I, you know, I'm familiar with, although I've never done one, I've never been a part of one. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, those seem kind of cool and fun. And yeah. it, it seems like, it is a great way to uh, kind of keep your channel alive with content because you're playing with so many different people's cash. Like you can play with a hundred, you can start with a hundred bucks for the day, but you'll have like 2000 to play with. And even though it's not Mm -hmm. your money, you can still post that content. And uh, that was something I kind of thought about, but it's too much work for me. I don't want (laughs) to, I don't want to mess around with all that cash. Right. Right. You're like the tracking and all this other stuff. And then like, I'm terrified. Like if I start opening up, you know, access for people to send me money for group polls, things like that, like through Venmo or whatever, they'll start label them as business transactions and then telling Venmo they didn't get the service from me. And, and like, I'll be out all this extra cash, you know, right. like, so I'm just like, A, I'm terrified and B, <laughs> like, I don't know what is like legal in this gaming space online, yeah. especially when you don't know if the person you're accepting money from is over 21 or if they have, you know, voluntary self-excluded, you know, with different casinos and things like that. So it just feels like a really gray area. And I'm like, let me just figure out what's happening in this space before I dive in myself. Cause it's a, it can get messy. I don't want uncle Sam to come after me for something. No, you're, you're <laughs> so right. Especially like about, it could be some 15 year old kid uh, sending a hundred mm-hmm. bucks um, of his right. Christmas money and then his parents find out and then all of a sudden mm-hmm. you're effed. <laughs> you know what I mean? So right. yeah, that's a great right. like, you know, uh, wow, I never even thought of that. So what are your favorite games to play? What do you like to, what are your go-tos? You know what? Uh, I Wheel of Fortune is my favorite. For lack of transition there. <laughs> what are your favorite games? <laughs> no, none needed. Wheel of Fortune, uh, most definitely. I like Buffalo Gold uh, and Quick yeah. Hit. Um, I do like the dragon link, lightning link, um, mm-hmm. machines. Um, I just don't, uh, I feel like I hit on them way. Like I, I feel like I hit on them so much like more back when I first started. Um, mm. but yeah, uh, wheel of fortune is always a go-to. I just don't do it live because you really have to bet max on that game or, uh, like the second bet, which is $7, I think seven or, uh, 10 bucks to get the mm-hmm. gold spin because that's what I like to do the triple gold with the gold spin and um mm-hmm. right because if you don't and then it's just say for example you lose like 10 spins in a row and there's like a third of my live money gone in 5 seconds so mm-hmm. um I don't do that one live although I would like to yeah uh, you got to get a nice hand pay and then uh, <laughs> or a handy right and uh that you know I got to tell you when I said uh I'm going to get a bony and then a handy I I just that like came out <laughs> no thoughts and I thought I just totally laughed at myself and my own jokes on that one what are your favorite Listen, machines? you have to have it's a one way conversation right so you have to you have to just laugh at yourself <laughs> totally and, you know, you're going to have trolls in the comments or whatever but let them comment it's going to boost your live yeah. so just uh, what about your favorite games uh, uh, I'm a huge Firelink yeah. person. Uh, you know, if there truly is a soulmate on this earth, that is the creator of the Firelink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I can sit there and play for hours. I'm a 10 cent Denom, $4 bet routine player. That's like what I just like to do. Uh, but other than that, Planet Moolah. Okay. Um, there used to be tons of jackpot party machines. Sorry, my Rhode Island accent just came out. Jackpot party <laughs> machines uh, that I can't see really anywhere anymore. Um, and then uh, Da Vinci Diamonds or Double Diamonds. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are like my top. Yeah. I like some of the older school ones. There was one called uh, Napoleon and Josephine. Um, it's like one of those like must win by games. Usually like the, the majors like $500 yeah. and the minor or mini was like 40 bucks or whatever. Um, my Nana's name was Josephine. So I like to find those and play those when I can. Nice. Yeah. Table games. Are you a table game guy? So actually uh, I never played well, no, I shouldn't say that. I mean, okay, so I never played slots until I started doing this. Um, I played slots, like, just when we're going through the casinos in Vegas. Um, like, mm-hmm. oh, let's throw in 100 bucks here. But I was always uh, table games, uh, like, especially when I went oh, to Vegas, okay. uh, like Blackjack, um, uh, Craps, Roulette, <laughs> uh, Pie Gal, uh, Caribbean Stud, and oh, Let wow. It Ride. <laughs> You really dive dove in there, huh? You just <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I would actually only play the slot machines if I was just doing terrible at um, table mm. games. And I remember one thing when I when I did go like you know uh, back in August, uh, like a year and a half ago, whatever. And I was playing the slot machines. I could not believe because I really hadn't played them in years um, before this, and I didn't understand anything which i was playing i couldn't even believe it like i was looking back to one of my first videos and it was a sahara gold lightning link uh, bonus i had no idea how it even hit like what to do was i supposed to hit the spin like so it was really funny and it was, i was learning as i was going on how to even like what to look for and uh so that was kind right. of fun but uh yeah so i never played <laughs> yeah that's my partner. We'll be we'll be down at the casino and be like, "How do I know if I'm winning?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing will just start going. The numbers will be, you know. Yeah, yeah. Usually, it makes a lot of noise, and uh, <laughs> but nowadays they all just make noise for no reason, too. Like, yes, it does. It's so frustrating. <laughs> I have a video that's in one of my uh, it's in my drafts of a double diamond esque machine. Um, it was like the I hit a spin and there was nothing, but all these bells and like lights started going off and like I was like, What what would I hit? Nothing. I hit nothing. So I totally get that. Yeah. Um I'm trying to think of what the most recent uh my most recent obsession. Uh it's a theme a movie from the nineteen eighties, Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah. Uh that's another one. It just there are so many different mini features or mini games that you can play and you think something big is happening, but your max bet, you know, yields $5. <laughs> I'm like, is this really a win? I guess I got my money back, but is it a win? No, they know. love doing that. Um, so aside from the general joy of watching you on the internet, what do you hope folks get from your content that you're creating? You know, um, that's a good question that I ask myself (laughs) quite a bit. Like, why do people even want to watch? Um, I just, you know, I just want them to, anybody watching, I want to them just have like a great time for, Mm -hmm. um, uh, especially during my live streams, just to like kick back and enjoy. Um, You can see, if you want to see someone win $100,000, you can definitely go on YouTube and watch that. And Mm -hmm. I try to look at it as, look, I bet what I can and I'm even betting more than I should, than I should be, but I'm not here to like win millions of dollars. I'm just here to kind of show you guys what the machine does, what it, you know, what it can do, what to look for when you're playing. And mm-hmm. hopefully someone will, you know, enjoy what they're watching and they'll be able to, Oh yeah, you need six uh, fire or you need four fireballs for ultimate fire link to get the bonus kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I have recently, you know, uh, speaking of, like you said, like no content, I finally got a little bit of content, but I didn't have much. And so the wins that I had were very small, but I'm thinking in my head, like, 
it, like I said, you can see a million dollar win or a hundred thousand dollar win anywhere. You just mm-hmm. want to see what, how to win. So that's what I've been posting and kind of without the total, because it's just a win. <laughs> you can just imagine. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and it's kind of lost my train of thought on this one. I'm sorry. Uh, definitely edit. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no like, I mean, I'm trying to show the bonus is what I'm really trying to yeah. say. The bonus. Yeah, yeah no, the train was still on the tracks, my friend. The train <laughs> was still on the tracks. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah no. I, I, similarly, like I didn't realize uh, how quickly you could forge community in some of these online spaces. Um, I still don't consider myself a content creator, even though I create content. It just feels like a weird, icky phrase on the internet. But, uh, but like the fact that people like call me out if I haven't gone live in a while. Like I'll get a comment random man a video like, where you been? Yeah. Or like things like that. Uh, and it just, it feels good to know that people are interested in what I'm creating or how I tell stories through my gameplay and everything like that. So Definitely. Uh, it's really, it's really been an interesting, you know, nine or 10 months, whatever it's been, because uh, you know, you look at your analytics uh, on TikTok or whatever, and you're like, shit, a million people have seen, my videos yeah. like that is insane to think about it's really like, cool it's insane absolutely like if you look at the hashtag slots with sean on tiktok it's it's just at a million views like what what that's so awesome why yeah. <laughs> why get a life people why no, it's fantastic and yeah. so i have to say like oh i don't even want to get started on this but i brought it up myself but yeah uh i was following my hashtag on tiktok um but my account my main account is totally dead and I don't know the whole shadow banning thing. If TikTok just said F you to my account, um, uh, I was growing hardcore on my main account and then it mm. just kind of stopped. Like none of my videos go to the FYP and I was so bummed because I was totally looking at my mm. slots of Ben hashtag. That's so funny. You brought that up. <laughs> I I'm going to look up Vine right now while we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> And like, you know, Instagram doesn't have that where you can see, unless you put uh, your hashtag with every video, um, it only mm-hmm. show the videos, but it doesn't show you how many views you have. And so you have to like count manually. Mm-hmm. It's something that's, you know, I like to see and it keeps me motivated um, as well. Yeah, no, there'll be some days I'm like, I'm not going tonight. And then I'll be like, well... I guess Rachel seven four nine whatever like said they missed me. I guess I'll go tonight. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm looking at it now. I it is uh, nine hundred ninety eight point six thousand views. Mm-hmm. But I've noticed too. Uh, I recently had a community violation that I disputed, uh, and the appeal was successful, and I, the video came back live. But ever since that dispute, like I have been getting like four hundred views like 300 views 125 views yeah like nothing is you know the the thousands of views that they were getting two weeks ago like it's just interesting how the algorithm like pushes the brakes on your account yeah when they think that you're doing something wrong which is i guess what it's supposed to do but at the detriment of our our lives <laughs> yeah it's it's very uh like okay um uh when i was in vegas I was like, and look, when I say hot streak, for me, I'm betting a buck 50. So like a hot streak is up mm-hmm. a couple hundred bucks. And so I'm on a hot streak and all of a sudden TikTok cuts my live. And it takes mm-hmm. all the steam out of like my right. vibe. I'm like, cause I'm so on it. And then all of a sudden it just shuts down. Yeah. Um, and it happened two weeks in a row. And I, I like, I lost my live from last week, uh, not yet, uh, Sunday, but the week before Sunday. Which is like it means I didn't win the appeal, which is such a bummer because, mm. like, what <laughs> I put eighteen and up or whatever it is, like, I mean, it's not like I'm, uh, you know, trafficking uh, hardcore weapons or gu- you know what I mean? Like, it's mm-hmm. so insane. Like, I'm just showing some right. video game slot play. Um, right. But yeah, so that's and I, you know, my main account is just. Like you said, dead. Maybe if I'm lucky, I get 100 views a day on my main account. Yeah. I mean, I just looked. I just searched your hashtag, and it's 2.6 million. So not too shabby, my friend. No, th- <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that. that th- I haven't even looked it up in a long time. Uh, back to our, our list here. <laughs> um, 
any fun stories or uh, yeah, anything else of, of note or interest that you want to share about the past year for you? You know, um, just like not not so much. Just like I guess I'm always like trying to like I don't know. Uh, God, I don't even know how to say this. Um, I hate to say I'm always trying to better myself because that sounds so cliche and ridiculous, but I'm always trying to keep it from being stale. Um, like just trying to change my style of videos, trying to, which I have re over the past few months, I've really changed my style of videos and how I'm posting and, um, uh, you know, just, I guess just trying to constantly keep things interesting for the viewers mm -hmm. and, um, anybody that watches, I have seen a decline in my YouTube lives and, um, mm -hmm. of course, TikTok lives, um, have gone down a lot. So I'm always trying to figure out ways to keep that, um, on an upswing. Um, a, I think a lot of it has to do with also my live stream getting cut on TikTok every every other week it's insane so i think that really does hurt and it's very discouraging and you know trying to find out ways to like i said keep myself motivated to keep myself encouraged and you know those couple messages that you get from people that are saying yeah like you said like oh where have you been and uh you know are you gonna go live tonight i mean that is honestly it really is even to circle back to what you're saying it's the coolest thing ever really you know like mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes me like want to go live right now at the casino. Yeah. But no, I mean, you're so right too. the, the trying to better yourself. I think that's a better way of putting it than I would say I try to one up myself, <laughs> you know, like I'm trying to do something bigger or better or whatever. And it, it, I don't think folks realize how exhausting or like time consuming, like doing this kind of stuff for fun can be. Yeah. Um, and sometimes it, it feels like more labor than fun. Uh, but it, it really does fall back on like, oh, like I'm building community around this. And there's people that look forward to what I'm posting. And I get to meet people like Slots of Ben and like other people in the community that are enjoying the same kind of thing just as much as I am. Yeah. So it's been really, really cool. And, and the the hard stuff does not outweigh the good stuff for sure. Yeah. So here's, here's your time for, for your plug, Ben. Hey, all right. Where can people find you. Um, fantastic. Yeah. Um, thanks. You know, uh, slots of Ben, uh, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. But, uh, yeah. So that's really it. Just check out my stuff and see what you think. And if you laugh, give me a follow for crying out loud. I know it costs nothing to like a video or follow. Yeah. Just, you know, Throw us those sympathy and pity likes, you know, <laughs> helps the, the wallet feel a little bit lighter in a good way. Well, nope, nope, heavier in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> but no, thank you. Thank uh, you for having me on. This was really cool. And uh, I'm glad we yeah. were able to hook up and uh, chat. And, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all I got. Yeah, and I appreciate you for, uh, for joining today. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in Reno and then elsewhere on the web.